Hey guys, Taps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm as usual excited to share another video with you and in this video I want to just do a review of this plugin called Weepy Vivid Backup Plugin. Luckily I'm one of those who, who stumbled on this plugin quite in the early days and since then up until now and I've been using this plugin there is no going back for me so I really don't want to waste so much time uh, this plugin was last updated three days ago it has 200,000 active installation um, you can use it with PHP version 5.3 and higher it has amazing review literally almost all five star reviews uh, so uh, that's it I don't want us to waste so much time we can download the plugin from here but as usual I would love to do that in the WordPress repository but for the sake of this tutorial I would use this website that I own this is just uh, uh, iblogincome.com uh, so you can see this is the state of the website currently as is so uh, let's come to the back end of this website and then let's come to plugins let's come to add new let's install wp vivid this is the plugin here 200k active installations as we saw earlier so let's install this plugin uh, so let's activate as well super simple easy to install a wordpress plugin uh the first thing we can see here is the backup now blue button but we that's not the first thing to do when you install this plugin uh, we need to put some things in place and the first thing personally I like to do to put in place is for me to put my remote storage in place because if I take my backup I want to store it in a remote server where it is secured uh, so and uh, so you would see that if you come here you see that there, there are quite a number of things you can do here and the first thing we want to do is remote storage like I said and there are quite a number of options for us we can use Google Drive, we can use Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Amazon S3, Digital Ocean, FTPS, FTP if you have whatever is convenient for you is good but for me Google Drive is the go-to and Dropbox as well so uh, we can authenticate this with Google Drive to synchronize this and which is good enough But if you want to do Dropbox just click Dropbox and then authenticate with your Dropbox account uh, So we would just for demonstration purpose stick with Google Drive uh, Then so let's authenticate with Google Drive You will be asked to choose which account you want to do that with so I will choose one of my Gmail account here you will get a prompt for you to give wpvv.com access to your Google account. You have to click continue. It's safe to do. I've done that for many years now. I'm not sure I have any issues doing that. Uh, so right now I'll be asked to log in back to my website. So I will have to do that. Okay, so you can see authentication is done. Please continue to enter your storage information. So what I will just do is to name this, I can just call this Google Drive. Google Drive, then I can add now. And that's it. We have a storage here, Google Drive, and that's fantastic. The next thing I want us to do is to check some settings, um, best settings before we continue doing anything like backup. So once we come to settings, uh, so the first thing you have on the general tab here is uh, how many backups you want to retain uh, you have three here uh, pro feature if you want to retain more backups you can then upgrade to pro uh, but keeping three of your backups is just good enough so if you schedule your backup for example which will go next to scheduling a weekly backup so it means you have three weeks of backup of your file so you have three backup files uh, that will be retained for you in your remote storage which is good but sometimes you may just want to keep two but I think three is good and if you're using a shared hosting I would not advise that you calculate the size of your files or folder and database I've used a shared hosting server that this would always cause problems so I don't recommend you do that but again you can if you have any issues you would see uh, the plugin itself recommend that you deactivate this because it's not able to calculate your size before doing the backup so I would rather want to just take this off 
so you may want to remove uh your black up plugin from the top admin bar from here but it's always uh easy for me to just come here and just come but for some people for seo purpose for speed and all those kind of things they don't like that and just uh for some people they don't just they want this place as clean as possible uh it's a fantastic future that you have the option to um to take this away and if you do that if you save it this will be gone and also you if you want to delete your folder your backup after you have deleted this plugin uh it's i i like it when plugins give you option to do this they just give you option to say okay if you are not doing anything with us again once you delete the, the plugin you should delete the folder and everything we don't want uh, to have the folder on our database anymore and it's a fantastic feature to have any plugin that gives you this feature is a very sincere plugin uh, in my many years of using plugins i have found very few plugins give you option to do this and it is very very fantastic so, but i would not advise you to do that i would advise you to do that if you have any reason to want to not use the plugin anymore then you can come to this setting click tick this and then save as well so that's everything we need to do uh literally here then i can just hit save changes so so let's come to settings again and let's come to advanced settings there are some things you may want to do here as well for my php memory limit i like to change this most times to 512 and then it save changes i think that's it to most things you want to do under settings media cleaner um not uh, i don't do anything here really staging uh also i really don't do anything here as well so that's it for your settings uh the next thing we can look into to do is to schedule a backup so if you if you come here you would see that you can enable backup schedule uh, but you would see some things here are on the pro version and I might do another video for the pro version for you to see what you can do with those things and personally I like to do weekly backups uh, you can do fortnightly depending on the kind of content you're creating if you don't upgrade your content that much a monthly backup might be good enough or fortnightly that's in two weeks can be good enough but if you update your site often then a weekly backup is good if not why not do fortnightly depending really there is no one uh, size fit all so depending on the kind of website you have so you can choose your style and always i would advise that you always back up your database and your files make sure this is included don't back up your website files alone and exclude the database or back up your database alone and leave your files that will not be good enough to restore your website if you have any issue a brute attack or you mistakenly delete your files or you do something crazy on your website really uh, save your website to your backup to your local host which is your web server that's what is ticked so we want to change this to our remote storage since we have uh google drive already activated here and that's it to schedule our website uh backups so let's hit the save changes and that's it we have a website scheduled to backup weekly so you can see here that our google drive is a storage provider and remote access also is google drive so uh, these would back up weekly as instructed uh, the next thing i would love to talk about is the auto migration but i clearly did a separate video in my last video on auto migration you will see how you can clone your website from this website to another website entirely for free just copying and pasting key uh, so you can uh, you would see a video right now on the screen you can click that to see how you can migrate your website using this plugin fantastic feature this plugin has and literally if you check other plugins this feature is a paid is most is mostly in the paid uh, version but this is entirely completely free so i can migrate this website to another domain entirely for free and that's quite 
amazing check the description below or the link on the screen to see that video it's an amazing future that i don't want to uh i don't i just feel i should do a separate video on that to show a lot of people how to do that so you can check that video i would not want to cover that in this video very fantastic thing you will do in a minute or two as well so right now since that is done uh we can take a backup now of our website uh you would see that once we click the backup button you would see that uh our backup is running let's watch this get that done okay so we can see that we have our backup finished but uh one thing i did is that i I failed to switch this to send your backup to remote uh, storage. That is what I should have done if I'd wanted this backup to be sent to remote storage. And also there's another option here like I did said earlier, always make sure that your database and your files are ticked here to backup. This is something you must uh, endeavor you do if you want to have a complete backup. And also, there's another feature here that's quite fantastic. Uh, people don't really know how very important this is, but you can choose to make one backup. You can choose to make this backup deleted manually. If there's a particular version of your website that you want to keep, maybe that's how you design newly designed the website before you start. Uh, perhaps before you start maybe adding content you want to keep that version because you may want to use it for maybe another website for example the backup to another website and you want to keep so you can take this option to backup to delete this backup manually so it means that backup is constant and others can come in and delete it and get deleted but this one can only be deleted manually by you so that's a fantastic future that you want to uh, you want to consider if you want to have or you want to keep or you want to tick for your backup. So once that is done, you can then hit the backup button actually to send your backup to remote uh, server that's a Google Drive. But as is, uh, you would see that uh my website is this backup here i have here is on my local host which is on my file on my hosting account I, I this this file i can access this file via ftp or i log into my control panel and i go to my files uh i will see this backup what happens if you mistakenly delete your file or delete something and you want to restore back this uh file so uh let's see what i can do what i can do is i can just come to all my pages all pages then let me tick all of them and let me delete all of these pages and i don't have any page again so if i come to my blog page so you can see i just have my blog page right now so i've deleted uh, all the pages on the website so there's no page right now on that site so what i can do right now for me to if for example i get a brute attack or for some reasons i need to restore back my website so i can just see i have taken away wpvvid here so i can just come here to wpvvid and then come to backup and restore and then i can scroll down here to see my backup and i can just re click this restore button i right, to bring me down here and then i can sorry i can choose to restore uh, this website immediately that is done we would have a restoration process uh on here so our advice as usual do not close this page as instructed here or switch to other page, other pages while this task is running because that can trigger unexpected errors so our advice are you, you just keep here just watch as the process restore back a restore completed successfully and that's good so awesome let's go check our website now let's refresh again and let's see bingo i have my site back 
this is how super simple and easy it is for you to restore for you to back up and restore not just any website but even an e-commerce website that has lots of products that you're selling and lots of pages and every uh, and every e-commerce website uh just like i just did uh so with wp vivid plugin it, it doesn't get any better than this so thank you so much for watching this video if this video has been useful give me a thumbs up you can also check the tutorial on how to auto migrate your website what i love most about the auto migration process with this plugin which is also free is that you don't need to update your links uh it auto updates all the links in your database from this url to the new url so everything works just by just clicking or migrating uh restoring the websites everything just works there's literally nothing more you need to do and that's quite fantastic to be free so do make sure you check out that tutorial uh that's it if you like this video if this video has been useful give me a thumbs up subscribe to this youtube channel if you have any issues let me know in the comments if you're able to use this plugin and it works for you let me also know in the comment section i'll look out for your comments thank you and that's my time in this video i'll see you in another video and until then do make sure you have a nice time bye for now